Rob with Silicon Valley Rockstars, and I'm speaking today with Larry Lau, consulting CFO. Larry, how are you doing today? I'm doing fine. I'm excited to be uh, in the conference here today. Okay. Larry, tell us a little bit about your background as an entrepreneur prior to becoming a consultant. My background, I'm a charter accountant. Um, I provide consulting CFO advices to startup companies and entrepreneurs. And I have co-founded uh, a biotech company uh, as one of the founding partner in the business. Okay. Uh, when you were an entrepreneur, what kind of personal sacrifices did you have to make? As an entrepreneur, um, you were pretty well married to your business 24-7. So you really don't stop. And the sacrifice is um, you really devote 100% of your time into your business. Okay. They say in Silicon Valley that failure is acceptable. Have you failed as an entrepreneur in the past? And what did you learn from failure? Yes, I have. Um, you know, as an entrepreneur, you are bound to fail a couple times before you, found, you will find a success uh, formula to be able to help you to succeed. And I have failed several times, but the key is every time you fail, you've got to be able to learn from it. And hopefully the next time around, you'll be able to avoid those mistakes. I run into entrepreneurs in Silicon Valley on a daily basis, and many of them have great ideas, and many of them have the mindset that they need funding, and funding seems to be the end-all, be-all in the entrepreneurial process. What do you think of that mindset? My suggestion is um, don't, you know, when you look, if you're really looking at just end up your uh, uh, mindset, um, that will cloud your approach to your uh, venture. So my suggestion is look at your ideas, how it can solve a problem, and how it can help you. That will enable you to have a clear thought to help you to pave your way to success. Currently, there's a global explosion when it comes to entrepreneurship. It seems like everybody in the world wants to become an entrepreneur and thinks they can become a successful entrepreneur. What do you think of this phenomenon? It's a great phenomenon. Uh, everybody, you know, have great ideas. And everybody, you know, hopefully you, you will have a lot of many good ideas coming out to the market. Do you have any advice for young entrepreneurs that are starting out today? For a young entrepreneur, what I would suggest is think about looking at your ideas, evaluate how your idea can help solve a problem. May it be, you know, helping, uh, you know, uh, provide market solutions or how it can help make people's life easier. Okay. Great advice. I've been talking today with Larry Lau, an independent CFO consultant. Larry, thanks for speaking with us today. Thank you.